Hi everyone, I wanted to show you um, this little file folder um, that I created and I also created a file box and this is using um, my AccuCut die it's the it's this one right here, let me show you it's this um, album lunch box number one die comes with three different um, pieces so it comes with this one that has the tab on the left which you can also use on the right if you flip it over and it has the one in the middle and then it just has the solid page and I've seen a lot of people alter the large file boxes but I thought it would be cute to create a little mini one and so that's what I did here and the paper collection that I used is the Glitzbrit's new French Kiss collection super um, gorgeous papers in this collection and then I used the coordinating um, die cuts. So what I did was um, I made the box and because the paper is only 6x6 six six, I used this bottom black ruffle trim to cover the remaining part that um, the paper didn't cover and I used um, some blackboard to make the actual box so it's a little sturdy and then I covered it all the way around see in the sides and in the back and then I layered this black ruffle trim with Carla's um, clear trim. It's like an iridescent clear trim. It's really pretty. And then here I add one of the die cuts, which says "Say Tre Magnifique," and then some Iron Roses flowers, which I stain with the scintillating silver. And then these are Carla's Juliana Chevy chic porcelain flowers. And I put some pop dots underneath the die cut, so it's more dimensional. And I distressed everything with the brush corduroy. And then these are the little file folders, so you can see it's just a solid blackboard inside. And then I, again I use the die cuts, really cute die cuts. So um, what I did was I did, you know, the left, the middle, and then the right. So there's six total. So I layered some of the design paper, which is three and three quarters by six. And then I add the die cuts on top. So I love this dress from one. And then the outer part of the file folder, I just dress with a brush corduroy. And then you could just put some receipts in here or photos, you know, whatever you want. I thought it would be something cute to give to someone um, for the office um, or, you know, a teacher's gift would be cute. Um, so many different um, things that you could do or add on this. And then here's the other one. So that's the one with the middle tab. But just really adorable die cuts. And then this is the one for the right tab. And I love this chair. And um, for those of you that don't know, I designed a custom die with AccuCut Custom Shape Post, which is a uh, vintage sofa. And it has these cute little separate pillows. And I should be getting that die soon. And I'm really excited. I had shared it on my Facebook. And um, I can't wait to show it to all of you. And then this is an Eiffel Tower, really cute. So it has a lot of my favorite things in this collection. And then the bird cage. And then this one has the bird. Really adorable. So it makes a cute little um, file folder. And again, it's, it's a great display for the office or um, to give to your teachers. You know, anything that has to do with you know, these little file folders, or, you know, in your girl's room or boy's room. It's really cute. So let me show you how to make it. It's really simple. You know, when I do my measurements on my projects, I like to keep it really simple. So I made myself a little template. It's always good to have a template, you know, to reference off of. And so let me show you here. So I'm just using my Martha Stewart scoreboard. You can use your score pal or your trimmer. And the measurements are basically seven and three quarters, so it's seven and three quarters by 12 inches, okay? And um, we're gonna put it on the 12 inch side right now, and then we're gonna score it, okay? You're gonna score it at a half an inch. Just tilt it this way. So you're gonna score it at a half an inch. one and a half inch six and a quarter inch and seven and a quarter inch 
Oops. Okay, and then you're going to turn whatever's going to be on your bottom part of the box if you're using solid paper or if you're going to use design paper, you want to make sure the bottom part is this way. So you're just going to turn it like this and you're going to score it at one inch. Okay. Okay, and then on this part right here, you're going to score it at three and a quarter. And you're only, you're going to stop right here on this um, one and a half inch mark. So you're going to go three and a quarter and you're going to stop at the one and a half inch. And you'll see why. Okay, so it's going to be like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and fold all your score lines. So just fold it up. Now this box is based on um, the files from the AccuCut die. If you have a different one, you'll probably have to change the measurements, but this is pretty much how you would make the box. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a pencil. So let me just take a pencil here. And you're going to take your ruler and on the top of this mark right here, you're going to mark it at one and a half. So we'll line it at one and a half. And you're just going to make um, just a little mark like that, okay? And then from this bottom mark right here, you're going to uh, line it at two and a quarter, okay? So I have to it confuse you guys there. So it's two and a quarter. And remember, the two and a quarter basically is where you put that score line where the three and a quarter was. And then what you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing on this side. Take your ruler and you're going to line it at one and a half. And then you're going to start from this scored line at two and a quarter. Okay, so it should be like that. Okay, so you should have a mark up here at from this scored line to one and a half, and then from this bottom where that scored line is right here, you should have another mark. And then up here, again, from this scored line, it should be one and a half, and then from this bottom, it should be two and a quarter. Okay, then you're going to take your trimmer. But before we do that, we want to cut this score line right here. So let's cut that. Just fold that in. I think I didn't mark it too close. Just erase that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that marked pencil mark right there and then this we're right here where we cut it and we're going to line it with the trimmer. We're going to cut at a diagonal. Okay, so it should be like that. Okay, same thing with this. You're going to take that marked line right here, line it up with the trimmer with that marked line. So it should be like that. Okay. So it should look like that. So when you're done, this is what it should look like. Okay. And then you're going to cut these two bottom pieces right here. And cut the slit. Another slit. I'm going to cut this slit right here. And this one, this piece you're going to actually cut out. So cut that out. Okay, so now it should look like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the box. So I'm going to push those in and I'm going to add some adhesive. I usually cover it all the way, but I'm just going to just add a little piece here. 
And then all we're going to do is just add it to here like so. Okay. And then we're going to add some adhesive in here. And then we're going to add some adhesive on here. So I just kind of like flip it this way. This one's kind of tricky because, especially if you're using an ATG gun, I would probably take tape, you know, like a score tape or red line tape that you would have to peel. Probably easier. But I usually lay it onto the table. If you could see that. Okay. So it should be like that. And then you're just going to Line that up and line this up. Okay, and then you made yourself your little ball folder box. Can you see that? Okay, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, but it's really simple, and the measurements are really easy to make. And then um, this is what you can create it's a cute little file folder and then again these are little files and then to make the file all you do basically is um, because these aren't these aren't you know folders you would just take your paper and just get this little piece of paper here you're just going to fold it in half right and then you're going to line it you know up to here so that's what makes the fold so obviously you're not going to cover the actual whole die cut it's going to line up to here. And then that's how it creates it into a folder. Okay. So, um, really super fun. And again, it's just a really simple, cute project that you can display at your office. And so, thanks everyone for watching. Bye.